channel. This is another episode of the day. Still no scent on that. <clears throat> Today I wanted to talk about semi hydro. Well, I'm not going to talk about semi hydro, but I'm going to point out what I have in semi hydro, which is only one kind of plant, and they are Epilalia cattleyas. I have tried on Cidiums. Um, some of the other things that I've had difficulty with, I've tried uh, just straight cattleyas. I've even tried dendrobiums. Um, I did once even try uh, Phalaenopsis, but none of them were as successful as I've had with Epilalia cattleyas, which is an intergeneric of sorts. It's a it would be a cross between an epidendrum. Um, this hints the shape of a reed stem epidendrum. This is generally what it, what epi, well, it can be any kind of epidendrum, I suppose. So it is epidendrum crossed with uh, lalia or some sort of a cattleya. That is epilalia cattleya. This one right in front of me was the first one that I realized that I had, would have success with. This has been in this same pot with the same media since I got the plant. Well, I guess I did. Well, yeah, you know, 2018 was when I divided this plant into two other plants. So it was three plants total. This was the main plant and it has put up another new growth, which is right here, which doesn't have a sheep in it, but I'm hoping that next year this will put up a new growth and then this one will as well. And it will be back to where it was before, which was a two grow, two fl two growth uh, flowering plant. And if this plant is a cross between um, epi uh, epidendrum, what is the one that I don't have? Um, hmm. Well, now I don't know. Stanfordianum, that's what it is. Epidendrum Stanfordianum. Um, and it's crossed with, I want to say, El Rojo. Maybe one of these other ones will say it. Um, okay, so this is where I have to interject. And I admit that this is one of the downfalls of a spontaneous video. I should have done my research first. Epilalia cattleya volcano trick, which is now known as Epicatante, which the abbreviations would be ETT. And that is a cross between uh, Catante uh, trick or treat, Lalia cattleya trick or treat used to be, times Epi Stanfordian. I had, a lot, had success with this plant because it flowers every year for me around Christmas time, um, sometimes a little bit earlier. It's usually blooming in time for our Christmas party, which is at Hausermann's about December the 5th. And so it flowers for a very long time. The spikes, as you can see, this is the old spike, stands up and it, the flowers open as it goes up. So it's a very long flowering time. I think it was still in flower in March. Um, but I, there are several other volcano tricks and I decided to get some of the other ones. This one right here is one that I just got last year. This is in semi-hydro. Now, what I was going to say about semi-hydro, well, I did say that this has been in the same pot, but I don't do all that flushing. The, the thing that I've heard always about semi-hydro is that when the water is gone in the bottom, that is when you kind of need to water because that's the plant's only source of water. So you need to really maintain uh, the plant level of water up to the level of where the holes are and I just watered this this morning so you can see that there is no water in it so it is soaking up those soaking up the, the, the moisture as it is getting some new roots and it is probably going to be pushing out some blooms pretty soon as you can see in there now this one that I was showing you that does have a sheath on it surprise to me because uh, this looks like it would have been a blooming size. There's a spike on it. This one is much smaller, but okay, it's blooming small. 
this one is uh, ETT, which Epicatlea is no mo is no more. Epilalia Catlea is no more. It is now I don't know what that is. It's ETT. That's the abbreviation. Sing U Gold Coast. And this is also the same cross with Stanfordianum with another Catlea. I don't know Catlea Jalapa, Catlea Rojo. It's one of those, I think. But it is a red Catlea because Stanfordianum is spotted white with maybe some veining in the petals and the lip. Uh, it is fragrant. Here's another one that is not a volcano trick. Um, this is actually uh, another name, but it is a volcano trick. This is not. Let me show you the other one. This is. That one was volcano trick. Fireball. This one is. Volcano trick paradise. There. And I got this last year, put it in semi-hydro, and it's got numerous new growths, none of which have sheaths, but still has a nice new growth, and the growths are bigger than it was when I potted it up. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. And the other one that I have that is in semi-hydro and has remained in these, this, since I got it, which does have a sheath right there, and this is Epilalia Catlea Golden Sunburst. Golden Sunburst, I believe. Yeah, and that is a yellow flower. Sort of a Brasavola looking flower, but it is yellow. And then I have another Epilalia Catlea over here. This is Epicatlea Lime Sherbet, which is crossed with Brasavola Little Stars. And this took some time in getting started. It was a tiny plant when I got it. This is the latest growth, and here's another the latest growth, and you can see the previous growths are smaller, so it's finally getting somewhere. But that's what I have in semi hydro, and those are my Epilalia catlea uh, that I that I have, the ones that I have that are all in semi hydro. Um, so contrary to the rumors or the statements that people say that you have to constantly flush out the algae and constantly flush out the impurities in these and change the media out you don't have to do any of that I haven't done any of that all I do is make make sure that the water level is always to the top of where the holes are and I am fertilizing today so these will get a nice dose of fertilizer um, the only thing that I did when I f initially put them in semi hydro was I did soak the hydrogen pellets in um, just a bucket with my fertilizer solution because that's really the only fertilizer that they will get ever because they'll just be getting plain water is just once a week fertilizer that I give them that's all that they will get so I try to give them a good start initially before I you know put them put the plant in the media by soaking the pellets in the solution that is has got the fertilizer in it so just a tip um, but like I said, I've only been successful in semi-hydro to the success that I would say is worth keeping them in semi-hydro with Epilalia catlea crosses. That is the only thing that I have been successful with semi-hydro. So, yeah. But, if you like this video, oh, one more thing. I am um, in talking about my uh, my raffle that I'm going to have for my the giveaway for the 1600 subscribers I may actually go live a little bit later and talk about that further if I do I'll try to put a notification up I might not do it because I'm so busy today we have a, a iOS meeting tomorrow in Chicago at the Botanical Gardens and it's going to be a long day and I still have a lot of stuff to do here uh, but yeah, I might be live later, so if you're around, look out for a notification just to, I'll be talking about what's going on outside maybe, and I'll be just walking through some stuff out there. Um, I need to pull some, pull some, um, seed pods off of my epidendrum raniferum from advice from Todd's over there at Todd's Tropicals. But anyway, I'm going to say bye 
and uh, maybe I'll see you later. So if you've enjoyed this video, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.